busy doing the crossroad now between Kij Kij and uh, the Matamata Road. The vegetation here is beautiful at the moment and eh? nice and green. So this area must have had good rains. But it hasn't brought the animals, I don't know why. There's not a lot of uh, spring bug in the area. At least some good news. Mom is with the three cubs that we saw the other day. Which is great news. Yeah, mm. Sitting up. Yeah. Had a good feed. Tummies are fat. Yo. Beautiful, man. Eh? Oh. We're just in the right place with it, eh? Look, it's gonna jump over the other one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, they're not going to go in the sand again. Let's give it a thing. Look. an old girl compared to the male, I think. Look at her legs, that strong male. Mm. Yeah. He's really thirsty, isn't he? He's thirsty, isn't he? He's so lucky. He's so lucky.
display. Okay. This cheetah, we're just on our way back from Melkflay between Melkflay and Kitch Kitch. But there doesn't seem to be any springbuck around. There were quite a lot up at Melkflay. And then also, guys, I did see three male lions there early this morning that walked up onto the dunes. Eh? Cheetahs seeing the springbuck up here, but she's still quite far away from it. And now there is a couple of cars around as well. We were the only ones to start with. There's another car coming at speed from the front, too. Right, the springbuck now is seeing the cheetah. And it's giving us a long call whistling. So I think the cheetah's just gonna go and lie under the tree. He's telling her he can see her.
outside wall, couldn't find anything. Then I got under the car, put soap gradually all around the edge, and then came upon that little shit there. A little, can't say shit, eh? Lucky here you can put a, the jack underneath and then dig a hole because the sand is so soft. Yeah. That's what made it a bit easier. Yeah, made it a little bit easier. <laughs> this is how Arthur puts the tire back on, he levers it on. I'm too weak to, to pick the tire up. <laughs> it's 75 is not so He easy. says he can't pick the tire yeah, up at 75. Anyway, it worked a drill worked charm. Again, yeah. yeah. Thank you. This is our campsite at Rapids. We arrived today. Uh, it was a bit of a hiccup because we had a slow puncher, luckily. I, I found it and on the inside of the tyre after a bit of mission trying to put soap all over both sides. You can hear the barking geckos in the background of the And of course we had somebody on our campsite when we arrived here today. So we had to chase them off. We've got chicken ala king for our supper tonight. I don't know where the little pepper's gone. These are caves there. Yeah. Couple of hymns book. We haven't even seen a lot of them around, but the park. The last herd of springbok that we saw was at Milkfly. The rest, as far as the Kransbrak, has been nothing. He's looking. And last night, uh, when we arrived back at camp, we were just starting to make our supper, and Rose said, hey, there's a cheetah. And the cheetah had walked up the road uh, into Rupert's campsite and walked right towards our camp. 
and then uh, turned off and walked down the middle. It was actually hunting. Eh? So it was quite nice to see that cheetah come up there. It wasn't worried about us at all. Didn't focus on us at all. We were standing there. It didn't do a thing. It just carried on looking to see what it could find to hunt. Eh? Jeez, lots of ostrich chicks, eh? Or youngsters, I should say. They obviously have a good hiding place. Yes, these can. There must be about 20 of them. Hmm. Counted 23 of them. Look at them running.
Well, we've just had a fantastic sighting on the left at Antigua. Um, we left this morning hoping that we would see the brown hyena and its pup, maybe, because um, I missed it last night with the camera, new camera. Um, couldn't get focus. Anyway, this morning we went past the hyenas and they weren't there so we drove up drove up and then we said okay let's go across to Tirkup on the crossover road and as we got to the waterhole we couldn't see anything and we sat there and the next minute we saw a leopard under a bush we thought it was a cheetah at first but it was a leopard under a bush so we sat with her we've been with her for two hours, two hours eh? and in your car for about an hour yeah and um, she was lying on the top of the ridge and then eventually we knew she had come down at some stage and then she came down went to the water hole had a drink walked straight towards us crossed over the road went up the dune the other side and then we went around the corner she came down the dune came right up to our car and then crossed the road in front of us and walked off into the dunes not too she actually easy. stopped in front of the car for a while eh? yeah she did and there's, there's prince here prince here again something's just crossed the road here and that's now because no other car has gone past so we know there's a pride of lions in the area with three cubs that wasn't them but we saw two cheetah on this road the other day, a couple eh? of days ago. Oh well, today started off very well, eh? Yep. We were wondering what we were going to get and Rose was desperate to find the leopard, leopard, leopard. Well, oh, I don't think we're gonna I, I, leopards. I don't think we're gonna get a better sighting than this, eh? No, Not, never say never. Well today. Today. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Over and out for now. This is our campsite number one at Rapids. Uh, the yellow flowers are looking beautiful. That's the toilet and the shower in the background. And that's where we camped. We got some lovely shade, especially in the afternoon, which is the hottest time of the day. We're already now, I think 31 at the moment, eh? And we haven't reached midday yet. The cheetah walked up this road here. He was coming right towards us. And then I think he saw us and said, no, we need to veer to the left of it. Solar panels are doing well, have kept our batteries at 100%. They're fully charged already. Got to watch out for these jackals. They're on the prowl the whole time, looking for something to to eat. Eh? Rose busy downloading all our leopard shots that we had today. So that was our good sighting for today. Plus the ostriches.
all the youngsters were was pretty nice, eh? And that was about it for today, eh? Yep. Not much else. No.